having me and interviewing me. I am so excited to talk to you and get to know your audience and connect with all of you. So, how did I get my name? Well, actually, I have a good friend of mine. His name, his name is Sylvester McKnight. He's a great author, so go follow him on Instagram. And him and I were talking one day, and he just wanted to name me something. Like, I was like, I should come up with a name. And he's like, he just came up with Myra Energy. And the reason behind my name, a lot of people think it's because I'm always hyped up, and I'm I'm sometimes hyped up, but not all the time. Like, I'm pretty normal. But what it is, I'm very receptive to energy and just, like, letting it flow through me. I let life guide me, and that's pretty much just how I've been able to do everything that I've done in life. So. I do. I work with Icon Radio, so I host Icon Radio with John Blaze, and we have an app, so if you have a phone, download the app, and we feature independent artists. We do interviews every Wednesday, and we play all local artist music. It's not overwhelming, but it's it's challenging every time. Like I, if something new comes up, I always say yes to it because even if I haven't gone to that level yet I always say yes without fear because I know that if God brings me to that then I'm gonna grow into that so that's the only way to get better even if you're afraid of doing something just do it anyway because if that's your calling and that's your life and that's your path it doesn't matter how you feel fear will always come with you but you can never let it stop you I just when I was little I would always see TV and I always loved you know just the entertainment industry and, and doing that so really what happens is I want to build a platform for uh, a bigger purpose. So I feel that that's the reason why. So I think this is my path to doing it. You know, if, if God decides to do something else with me tomorrow, then I'm open to it. But right now, I just keep getting signs and it keeps leading me in this way. So I just go wherever I'm led. What are your plans going into 2018? My plans into 2018 is I just recently moved to LA two months ago. So I'm ready to just step it up to another level, connect more with my industry friends out there, and do bigger projects, work with bigger artists, and just do a lot of big things. So, you feel like um, local artists out here and are kind of like getting the buzz? Yeah, I do. I think so. Especially a uh, show like today, we have the Arizona Hip Hop Show, uh, the Christmas Hip Hop Show today, and it's really awesome to see that now the local artists have openers, which nice. most of the time, the local artists are the openers. So I see that as a progression in this music industry. We have so many platforms like you know uh, the podcast with Podson, Family First, of course Icon Radio. We have 101 The Beat that's been so supportive, and um, we have all these platforms. So I think local artists are getting a lot of love and support from all of us. From the day you started on Icon Radio, so now what's your biggest accomplishment today? Well, I started out with MyVid, so that's another platform as well that we should talk about. They have a great studio, okay. and I learned a lot from them. And then I worked with BMW Entertainment to do big events, and then other concert events. And Icon Radio has been a blessing and it's gotten me, you know, to develop my personality and to connect with a lot of people. So, um, you know, this I've done a little bit of behind the scenes stuff that has gotten people signed to record labels that you might hear about now and different things like that. So I think just putting my little like energy into things that create good things for other people are my biggest accomplishments so far. And there's more to come. The last two questions I want to ask you. So take off Instagram, take off radio. What do people do not like? What, what is something you don't know about you outside of social media? Something that people don't know about me is my life story and how I grew up. A lot of times people get this perception that I'm this, I don't know. I don't know what you think. So I'm not going to speak on what you think. But the real story is I actually grew up in Mexico. I was born in Mexico. We had nothing. I grew up in a forest town. My mom literally had to go to the river to fish fish to feed us and we walked everywhere and I came to America when I was six years old with you know an immigrant mindset my mother was an immigrant single mother and I've just grown up and, and just tried to make it you know from that so a lot of people don't know that about me what do you want people to know about you what I want people to know about me is that I'm let's see what do you want to know about me how about you guys just message me and ask me hey, there we go. I want to know what you want to know my race yeah. well I was born in Mexico like I said so I'm 100% Mexican okay. yeah. um, thank you for your time I appreciate you our energy thank you for having me yeah. can I get a, a little 360 a 360 on my oh 
thank you to Bee's Boutique for getting me dressed today. And um, she's got me with the dress, with the slit. <laughs> we got along. All right, there you have it. All right.